All right, maybe we should stick together. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely oh starting over. Oh my god. So I guess there is some challenge to it. You die, you have to do everything again. Fuck, dude, that was dumb. I was actually doing it hella fast. Like, dude, no, I swear, speed. if you do it faster, that's how you die. They're like, <laughs> they're like, oh, if you do it this fast, you must be a computer. So you must be hacking. Yeah, so, so it's not fair. God damn. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, let's. This let's looks like a good spot. Let's okay. First of all, let's go around, collect everything, okay. and then come back to this spot because this is a pretty nice spot. And we were using our ammo and kind of killing each other a little bit, so like. Dude, I thought we were done. <laughs> so. I, I don't blame. I don't blame you, but. Oh. Plus, you know. Oh, Ooh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I hey. like that. Not only can she open up a beer bottle, bro. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the way to go out, man. Like break my neck like that. What the fuck? Dude, where are you? Where are you? I'm way over at the end, like... I'm right here. I'm so fucking dumb. Dude, no, I'm right here. Oh, shit. <gasps> nice. Run! Back up this. Back up this. Shoot that thing. Shoot that thing when I get up. Dude, Dude I have that thing. This up. guy wants to blow us up. Shoot something. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> that works. Shot something. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely a good spot to stay up here. Yeah, this is beautiful. Alright, get ready. Actually, I'm gonna He's throw. He's coming. Oh yes, he's getting burned. Grenade. Burn, baby, burn. Actually, that bounced off a wall. So. See, I don't care if he's <laughs> shooting me point blank. I just keep firing. Oh, I love that he doesn't fall off. I know. Oh shit! I actually don't know if him exploding hurts us, but he does make a yeah, I don't think explosion. It, I, don't think it hurts. I like that elbow drop. That's just the drop. After the leg drop. Yeah. If you know what I mean. The chop. The <laughs> leg drop. I love that these people will literally never know what that means. Now, if we ever do like a, like a frequently asked questions thing or like a stream like that or something, that's going to be one of the things like, hey, in a few of your episodes you said this. What what the hell does that mean? Yeah. And we're not even going to have an explanation because it literally means nothing. It's yeah, it doesn't stupid. mean anything. Like, well, we'll have explanations, but yeah. they'll just be dumb. And no one's going to understand. Like, just trampoline shenanigans. I'm traveling shenanigans, bro. Alright, where's that transformer? We need to get that down. There it is. Oh, nice. Good to have. Did we collect everything? Um. I don't think I did. I mean, no, I don't I didn't do I, very much exploration. I didn't do much either, yeah. Found that elevator, though. It's like over here. Hell yeah. Uh. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more ammo to grab. That's one of my. Dude! Oh, I'm dying! Yeah. I don't oh, know. Oh, I didn't even know I was right next to you. I was running past you. Hang on, wait. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I'm in a good mood here. This is actually fun to do. Yeah, this, this is this like, part is fun. This is classic. It's classic Resident Evil. It reminds you of the, you know, like the first mission. You're just yeah. Being constantly bombarded, and you're trying to find a safe spot, but they always find a way to get through you. Yeah, yeah, we'll hold on. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty satisfied. I think I can go back up. Oh, chainsaw! Oh, shit. Chainsaw! Oh my god. Watch out, man. Shane saw. Scared the duke out of me. First. First AIDS, I guess. He's dead. Nice. Magnum. Yep. He he someone pups. shot me. Where are they? He <laughs> <laughs> looked yeah. like he blew himself up just now. Yeah, yeah. he screwed up. Alright, come back. Come back. Got some ammo in here. Oh shit, I can't get it. No! Reload that real quick. Ooh. I stay here. Oh, Wait, shit. did the timer reset? Or did not that yet, happen later? Yet, yeah. oh. There's a herb down here. I saw that herb. Oh, wait, I gotta grab that. Hang on, wait, let me, uh, let me set this down. Come back. Come here. Yeah. Actually, kill these guys that are about to come up, because I want to, like, I don't know if I want to waste it on them, per se. Actually, I'm going to put it over here, because they can climb up over here. So, I'll just let them die over there. I'll try to save it so that we don't have to waste it on these fuckers, but there'll be a nice extra line of defense. Don't move, get back here, get back. Oh, you, uh, me? Fine. Yeah, I scored. Wait, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Do you have anything else? Any other proximity mines? I got grenades. Whoa! Ooh. Where did this person. Shit! Dude! There's a rotten egg. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, he just jumped. The green herb is gone. Probably disappeared. Shit. See, that wasn't bad. Yeah, we gotta watch for that. 
They're just gonna be coming up from behind us like that. Yeah. It's gonna piss me off real quick. Oh, ho, ho. Got him. Got him. Got him. I'm trying to. Oh, oh, damn it. He rolled into it. Shit. Yeah, dude. These guys are coming from everywhere. Have I noticed that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, oh, like, okay. went. She mentioned there's BOWs flying over the place. Okay, now I can see how you missed it. <laughs> yeah, no, it just. It's gone. Plus, you know, we. Oh, actually, the volume might be too loud. I hope, yeah. I hope it's not echoing. He's coming. Oh, I'm ready for him. I got a few grenades. Here we go. Another one coming. You got him? Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. That looked painful. The way he grabbed his face. Dynamite kick? Oh, yeah. Ooh, and Leg let's drop. See if it hurts us. Damn, no, it, it does. Does. It doesn't even hurt that. It hurt me. It hurt you, actually? Yeah. It was just because you were like. Restrained. Yeah. Dude! <laughs> what are these people? What are you? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the SpongeBob SquarePants movie? <laughs> I, I can't remember. I think it is. It's, it's something like, I've retained in my head. It's when, uh, it's when, like, the thing, the ice cream place, like, comes to life, and, like, and they're chasing him, and, like, and they're in the car. He's like, what are you? <laughs> I can't confirm that, but I do. Oh, I love that movie, dude. Yeah, it's such a good movie. Like, a genuinely good movie, you know, with a great story. You know, I told characters. you I was afraid to go back to it because I don't know. Really? This is who they bring to the really? show now? <laughs> yeah, this is the guy. Look at them. They're so lame. Oh, but don't worry. He brought, he brought two big, flat, black, big, flat, black guys. Yeah, that's Flat, it. black guys. Yeah, you know, like, matte black, flat, black. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, blow up. That's all I want. Proximity mine. Heck yes. I'm gonna put that down over here for the Shit, next person dead. who decides to mess with us. Flying. Dog, you would have done better. I'm sorry, Josh. He was... He was a brave soldier. He was... my friend. 
And if we don't help Sheva and Chris, he will have died for nothing. You're right. Let's go see if we can help them. See, we got us. Oh, yo, yo, we did good. Yeah, no. How do we now know? I can select Josh. Okay, so that's why I couldn't select Josh. Oh, John Josh and extra figures, blah blah blah. Okay. If you don't tell me what the next prize is, okay. Forty-five minutes. Okay, so it took less time. <clears throat> Let's see what our percentages were. Sixty-nine percent, but of course you had the machine gun. Of course your accuracy would be worse. Kill mm -hmm. more enemies. Is that saying we dealt more damage? Yeah, that's dealing damage. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that that was just okay. Okay, let's <laughs> let, let's just talk about the ending there for a second. Yeah. Okay. End. Okay. Yeah. So, first of all, Doug, we have no connection with Doug. We heard his name mentioned mm -hmm. twice. We heard his voice when he made the detour, and we had him there at the end. Now, mm -hmm. that was totally unexpected. You know, it's like they could have just you know made it totally normal, just have him pick yeah. them up, whatever. Having him die though, wow. First of all, I thought that rocket was totally heading for the helicopter. I mean, I thought he was just aiming for that. It's like, did did Doug realize that and then run away from the helicopter? Was that... I can't tell if that's what happened that's, or if he was just trying to run away or... That's very likely because I feel like in, in the distance of the, on the screen, like, <clears> he <throat> was close enough to get to the helicopter, so... Yeah, so I feel like he noticed and ran away so that it wouldn't blow up the helicopter, but... Yeah... I feel like Resident Evil always has to throw in some minor character death that you just don't really care about because they don't put in enough characters to kill off somebody you actually care about. You know? And they can't kill someone you actually care about because that would ruin everything. It would... Well, like, like I mean, they could have had Jill die, honestly, in this game. They could have. Yeah, they totally could have, and that it wouldn't have been... been any issue, like... I don't know. I feel like they have to throw in something. Either just don't kill anyone, or <laughs> and then they feel like they have. Like they threw in every possible cliche. Mm -hmm. Like they, they have to. Exactly. They have to. They have. That's the problem. They always just throw in these minor cliches. Like, I, okay, so the, it, I think Resident Evil is made by Japanese, right? Japanese people. Well, Capcom, I'm pretty sure has an American counterpart. It's just, but I, I'm not I'm not positive, so don't I, quote me. But it I'm almost, pretty sure they do. It almost seems like all of it's written by like because the way I see it, a lot of times, you know, we're Bosnian, so I see this a lot. A lot of countries are you know heavily influenced by America, and they they try to do what Americans do, and they just don't do it as well, or they do it like we did it ten to fifteen to twenty years ago. <laughs> yeah. And so that's kind of what I see with Resident Evil. I'm thinking it's just made by like people from another country that are trying to. And it's imitate this, and it comes out something like this, which is tons of cliches mm -hmm. and tons of stuff. But don't get me wrong, I love it. <laughs> no, yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's just that's what I. That's just what I see. But they literally just can't help themselves either. You know, it's not. <laughs> they can't. It's not like oh, this is. Yeah, no. It's but. just cliche after cliche, just back and forth. Seriously, the main campaign especially, like, mm -hmm. oh, but anyway, let, let's give our um, like, let let's both compare this. To Lost in Nightmares and on its own. So mm -hmm. let's let's for I guess start kind of on its own. Uh, I'll start I guess. Um, first of all, th there was like no story to that. Mm -mm. That was really nothing. It, it 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 connected to the main campaign twice. Yeah. At the beginning and when she gave him the information about Wesker, which was obviously crucial to the final boss fight. But like they didn't even have the last cutscene in there, which I mean I guess would have just been redundant. Yeah. Anyway, but. It would have been a nice little tie-in. Yeah. I mean, I guess really, yeah. It just shows that eventually all the characters ended up together. It wasn't just some random thing. Because that's always how it is. At the yeah. end of the movie, it's like, oh, there's a helicopter with a person saving us. Oh, look, every main character from the movie is also on the helicopter. Yeah, right. Which is basically what it was until they had this explanation. Exactly. <clears throat> so, and, yeah. Oh, man. And, and, and like, the only story to it was the beginning, the middle, and the end. And the mm -hmm. beginning and the middle were the tiniest little things. And then at the end, just... No, you literally could have had the cutscenes be the story. Yeah, and that like would have been the same out, thing. you cut out... Because, yeah, you just cut out all the gameplay, and there's your story. Well, because there was nothing special to the gameplay. They didn't have any new characters. They didn't have any new 
and uh, I mean, I guess they had the, the new, like, kind of, I don't know what I'm trying to say, like, Those rockets? <laughs> yeah, the rockets. Yeah. I, I don't know what you call that. I'd call it a gimmick. Because that's what it was. It was just gimmicky. There was, like, two, and then you get through the doors, and there's two more, and it's like... Yeah, that's all it okay. was. It was just... It, you were forced to use it, too. So you, you... It was a tool that you had to use to move on. So they just basically made it instead of keys, you have to blow them yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, it was just... It, it was a gimmick. It, it, they didn't work well. Uh -uh. You would never choose to go for them. You wouldn't be like, no. oh, I need to skip over this shotgun right now and go straight for the Seriously. rockets. It's like, we gotta get that. Oh, it's gonna help us kill the enemies. No. It's... No, you're literally put in a terrible position. No. Like, like in the main story, you know the turrets they have on the back of trucks sometimes? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, right before you fight that big bat thing, mm -hmm. you know, right before you go on the driving mission. I'm sorry, I don't know the official names. Yeah, I know what you, but, I know what you mean. But yeah, you like try to turn it, it can only move like within a certain angle. Yeah. So you would never choose to use that over something else. You probably just, just never choose not to versatile use it. at all. Yeah, you would never choose to use it anyway because your guns are the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like you, if, I guess if you're like, the only way I can see is if you're on the hardest of hardest difficulty and trying to save ammo. Mm -hmm. That's the only time I could see possibly using it, but other other than that, no, it's just it's gimmicky. Sure, Resident Evil just doesn't know how to <laughs> switch it up. Mm -mm. That, that's one of Resident Evil's. Well, faults. except for the games, have you played Seven? Mm -mm. It's like not even Resident Evil. Really? It's just, okay, I'm I'm gonna give a quick opinion on this because I don't want to get into some big controversial yeah, thing. Yeah. But literally, Resident Evil Seven is not Resident Evil. You know, I don't care what you say. It's literally just a horror game. That someone was like, oh my god, you know what would help this sell? If we put the name Resident Evil on it. <laughs> and it, it could be a very good game. You know, I haven't played it, but I've heard good things. Yeah. But it's just not Resident Evil. It's huh. like taking... Like, say they took this DLC right here. Yeah. And called it, like, Halo 3.5. <laughs> like, oh, what happened between Halo 3 and Halo 4? Like, it would sell, like, hotcakes. But it doesn't oh, yeah. mean it's Halo. It's literally not Halo. The gameplay's not Halo. The characters aren't Halo. So, oh, the characters weren't even No, th that's why I'm like, saying. They, no wow. characters are affiliated with anybody anywhere from the Resident Evil series, as far as I know. And the gameplay isn't the same. You, ha Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you more about it after. Because yeah, yeah. I said, like I said, I don't want to get into it. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, so, the, thing, the problem I have with this, just to compare it a little bit with Lost in Nightmares. Lost in Nightmares was different. It was truly different. It was a great throwback to the original Resident Evils. Mm -hmm. You have puzzle solving... You have, you know, less actual gunfighting, but he, which is exactly how it was. It was almost like, you know, you have a few zombies here and there, but most of the time you're fighting, like, bosses. And so that's what we did. And the puzzle solving and the atmosphere was so cool. It was. You know, the whole going into first person when going through the doors, mm -hmm. uh, the darker tone to everything, like, just the filter. The underground. Those enemies area. you fought were yeah. insane. They were freaky. Yeah. Like, I think they called them Guardians. I think I looked it up later, and they're called Guardians That's even or something. scarier. But yeah, so it was just insane. This was just this is more weak. or less the <laughs> same, but just not done very well, I don't think. Yeah. And this is 45 minutes, and that's with us you know, dying, never having played it before. So you could imagine if you spent however much this cost, brand new, 7 or $10 or whatever. Oh my I'd God. I'd be like, well, actually, I think you... I'm trying to think. Do you get mercenaries with it or not? Because we bought, like, the pack that yeah. came with everything. I'm not sure if you buy this, if you get anything else. But if this is all you get, then wow. Dude, yeah. If I, I think paid, now it costs $7. If, for, I, yeah. if I paid $3 for this, I'd be upset. <laughs> like, if it was 5 I'd be <coughs> so pissed. I'd be writing. I'm not even this type of person. But if it cost $5 for this and I played it when the game just came out or, say, this just came out. I would go online, I'd post YouTube videos, I would tell people to stay away from it, mm -hmm. because it's just not, it's n nothing, it's, it's just not anything. Like, yeah, like, nothing actually, special. Just, just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to look it up right now. Yeah, look at, look at some reviews. <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil 5, uh, this is, uh, Desperate Escape. Desperate Escape. DLC download. So I'm just going to look up and see what it costs right now. Okay, yeah. Look up, like, Xbox. Or yeah, I don't want to go to GameStop. Because I, I think they have, like, Marketplace. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then look up your reviews after that, because <laughs> I really want to see what people say. Five bucks. Five bucks. That's what it costs right now. If you now, want just oh this, it costs five God. bucks. God. That's <clears throat> fucking ridiculous. Look, it has great reviews, though. What? Four and a half. Wait, oh, wait, no, that's talking about Resident Evil 5 itself. Oh, but don't okay, worry, Desperate sure, Escape sure. also has four and a half. What the fuck? With 2,800 reviews. Go, Yeah, go to them. Can I we... can't. 
Oh, okay. Well, then they're probably fake. Right? Yeah. No, but yeah no, okay, yeah. so there we go. So now we know. $5 if you want it right now. If you must play this, buy it along with everything else. Get, like, the pack that comes with all the Mercenaries Reunion um, and Lost of Nightmares as well as this. That's the only way you're going to get your money's worth. I think total, what was it? It was, like, $13, $14 or something for all of it. Mm -hmm. It's... Yeah, for the mercenaries alone, that's worth it. I'd say because the mercenaries is a ton of fun. Yeah, but, and, a, and a ton of time. You know, you can spend. Oh yeah, yeah. You can just, things you can unlock. Here, there's no replay value. No, I'm never gonna play that again. No, it's like with Lost in Nightmares. Like even that doesn't technically have replay value. It has as much replay value as like you know, the main game. Well, actually no, because in the main game you're constantly getting new guns. Yeah, and all that. I, Here, I'd say like if you want to show someone and play with them, you know, that's like the replay value. It's like, hey, dude, this is really cool. It's kind of like the first Resident Evil, you know. Yeah, that one. But this, no, no. This it's is like, like, hey, you want to play a shitty watered down version of Resident Evil Five for no, forty that minutes? Is what like, it is. no, they have you know like a handful of the guns. Yeah, two characters. I mean, you might like Jill. You might love Jill from the old games, but Jill in this game is just not. Jill, you know, it's like she has like hardly any character. lines yeah, or anything. You know, like, like, you don't grow attached to her just by this game. If you only play this game and you've never played a previous yeah. Resident Evil with Jill in it, you're not even gonna think anything about Jill. You're gonna be like, whatever. She's like Josh. She's a fe female Josh. Yeah, <laughs> that's how <totally> useless. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to give a direct rating. I mean, I'd probably rate it five out of ten, average, painfully average, because mm. because it's still fun. Like compare it to like. You know, a, like okay, so Resident Evil is just fun. I like the gameplay, yeah, and the the enemies. I like it all. So and I like the atmosphere. It's just that this is a poor example of the rest of Resident Evil Five. So whereas Resident Evil Five might be like an eight or nine out of ten, this is a five out of ten. That's how I justify it. I, I see that. I don't. I don't even know like what I'd rate it against. Like, are, are we rating it as a DLC? Or are we uh, rating just as, it as an experience, I guess. As like, an experience, like okay, so like I'm kind of comparing it to Lost Nightmares, which I would consider probably a seven out of ten. Like it didn't I bring anything should... crazy new to the table, but I think we should rate this like as a comparison to DLCs, you know, everywhere. Like if you're gonna buy a DLC for a game and it's gonna be downloadable content that comes with the like extended missions of a game that has a great single player. <laughs> Then what am I rating it? I'm rating it like a three point five, maybe a three. Like, sure. It, it's just it's not worth the money. It doesn't give you anything new. Like they like it'd be cool. Like I, I was really excited to see more of the story, right? You know. Yeah, because, I thought this one was gonna actually have something. Yeah, and no, just none of that because the the characters aren't interesting. Like it, even if it did. If the characters were interesting, then maybe the story would be a little better. But I don't care that Jill talks to Chris on the little fucking walkie-talkie thing. Like, I don't care about that. I don't care that someone got killed. There's some random-ass dude, like, that we hardly see got killed. And he didn't have to die if these guys could have just fucking walked over there, you know? Instead of having to get picked up mm -hmm. by a helicopter. Like, I don't care about any of that. I was expecting more. And, yeah, I I'd give it about a 3, 3.5. That's totally fair. Yeah. yeah. No, it's like... <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I don't even know what I hated so much about it. I feel like we need to give more concrete reasons aside from story and the gimmicks. I, to me, it's, like, I don't know. It's just, I, I, I didn't like the area, I must say. Yeah. And, like, was, what, what's the name like of that, that area when you're underground and you've got those sunbeam god things? That, oh, like, god. Those lasers? Yeah, I know what you're talking this, about. This, it has that same vibe to it, to me. The constant, like, having to assist jump everywhere, which mm -hmm. is a gimmick I don't even care for, honestly. Yeah. It's just, funny. like, really pushy with the cooperative play. It's like, they really want you to know, hey, you're playing with two people here. Mm -hmm. Here you go. So, yeah, that I'm not a fan of. <clears throat> and on t what else? It's, like, it's just really dark. It's dark all the time. <laughs> you're, yeah. You can see just fine, so that's not a problem. But it's just really dark. There's really nothing going on. Yeah, And, I mean, even that... You know, boss fight at the end, quote unquote, yeah. which was the most fun part. Like, you know, it was just like, you know, it's really all we wanted. Yeah, really. Yeah, you know, it, was, it was basically just mercenaries. <laughs> that yeah, that's what I'm. Is all it was. It was mercenaries. You have a little boss guy come around every few minutes, mm -hmm. and you just fighting enemies the other t mm -hmm. part of the time. You know, so yeah, you guys should let us know what you think about this, as well as Lost and Nightmares, which still hasn't gone up by this point. Um, we finished Halo 2 not like a, a little while ago now, actually. Mm -hmm. not, not not long ago. We finished that. 
And, uh, yeah, this is going to be the next thing we do. And I think we can actually go ahead and spoil what our next project is going to be, because it's probably fairly obvious at this point. Do you know? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't even know. Mercenaries. Oh, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, we're going to... Yeah, it's it's so obvious, we're not even thinking yeah, about I it. Yeah, think, so I think people are going <clears> to... <throat> we're going to be doing the that. Mercenaries Reunion, which, yes. uh... Yes. You know, we'll, we'll explain more when we actually go ahead and record it, but basically... It's the Mercenaries 2.0. We're playing with different characters on the same maps. So, it's like not anything crazy, but it is really cool to get to play with new characters and all that. So, yeah. I I'm really excited about it. It's been, I think it was even April 2016. So, over two years ago when we last recorded the original Mercenaries. Damn. So, we've come a long way, and we're really excited to get back to that. I must say. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be tough getting this. back into it. Like... Oh, yeah, it's like, you know... Getting good at it. Yeah, you, it, it takes a whole nother level of strategy. Like, this mm -hmm. took no strategy. Oh, zero. You know, we so. only died because we fucked around and you shot... <laughs> <laughs> I like, had to. Shot both of us. <clears throat> but, Don't blame you. But, yeah, so it, it'll be a nice recovery from this. You know, I, if, you have, if you have to buy, you know, one or the other, definitely buy the other one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Loss and Nightmares is the way. But that's my final recommendation on that, so... Yeah, you got anything else you want to say? Boss and the Cheese? Um, you know, I think we got it all out. All right. Sheva, Sheva has a nice body. Yeah, she does. Nice and muscular. <laughs> it's a good shit. Yeah, I was talking. About, we talked about during a cutscene, <laughs> like a girl with a strong back. You know. No, yeah, it's great. Like gymnast, give me that fit back. That's all I want. And the ass. Well, of course. And the legs. Well, it goes without saying. <laughs> it just it just goes on. And but off. the back, yeah, that's something else. That's something different. You know. I know, no one like, else has the. Back, yeah, no one know? else. Yeah, no one thinks like, oh yeah, I'll go work out my back because I know guys are into that. They don't. They, <laughs> they don't, don't know. They're gonna know. I'm gonna <laughs> now they're gonna know after watching this. Yeah, after yeah. every girl in the world watches this video, Which and they gets always the do. They always do. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, we thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you when the mercenaries comes out. Bye. Bye.